Here's your online weather briefing for Friday, April 25th on the possibility of severe weather on Sunday. I'm Donald Jones. Let's begin by taking a look at what to expect for the rest of today. A weak cold front is currently draped across our area, resulting in overcast skies and occasional light showers. This front will continue to push to the south as we go through the day today, and while winds will turn out of the northwest, afternoon highs are still expected to rise into the lower 80s. The good news is that most areas should see the sun once the front moves through. Clouds will return to the area on Saturday as winds turn back out of the south, but it's not until Sunday that we'll begin to deal with increasing rain chances and the possibility of severe weather. A slow-moving area of low pressure will move into the central plains on Sunday, trailing a cold front south across much of Texas. As this system begins to interact with the warm, moist air of the Gulf of Mexico, the potential will develop for severe weather across a wide area. Here's a look at the Storm Prediction Center's latest risk for severe weather on Sunday. Most of our area is highlighted in a slight risk for severe weather, while further north across the Arklatex, a moderate risk for severe weather is expected. All forms of severe weather will be possible with this system, including tornadoes, large hail, and damaging winds. While brief periods of heavy rainfall will also be possible, flooding is not expected to be a concern at this time. In fact, most areas are forecast to see less than 2 inches of rain through Sunday, with higher amounts expected across central Louisiana and lesser amounts across southeast Texas. So to summarize, a severe weather threat will exist on Sunday, with tornadoes, large hail, and damaging winds all possible. In addition, rainfall totals of up to 2 inches will be possible on Sunday. Finally, given the very slow nature of this system, the severe weather threat could continue into Monday and even Tuesday. We will provide additional briefings and updates on this as the forecast picture becomes more certain. For additional weather information, please visit our website at weather.gov slash Lake Charles. If you have any questions or comments about the information presented here, please post them on our Facebook or Twitter sites also listed here, and we'll be glad to answer them.